How to get your home show ready. And that's what I'm talking about today. And I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my seller series. And today, I'm gonna to talk about how you can get your home show ready when you're ready to list it. It's time to show off that gorgeous property of yours. But how can you prep your home to really wow that potential home buyer? Go that extra mile and follow these 10 tips that I'm gonna go over today about how to really, really showcase your home. Number one, and this is the most important one, is to clean, clean, clean. A clean home speaks wonders. And what I mean by clean is that you're gonna clean every inch of your home, your bathrooms, your kitchen, the baseboards, the light switches. Get down and dirty and spend a day or two to make sure your home is just immaculate, just clean because when buyers come in, they're gonna judge you. They really do judge you. And based off the cleanliness, they may not want to buy your home. So make sure your home is clean, top to bottom, fans, um, the lights, the dust, the windows. I mean, you name it, everything just needs to be spotless. Number two, freshen up your paint. Now, if you can't afford to actually have your house painted, then I suggest to get Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and just clean up all the scuff marks that are around your house. But a fresh coat of paint does wonders and sells your home fast. The key is to pick a paint that's very neutral, could be white, an eggshell, or a very light gray, something that's very, very neutral, because a fresh coat of paint does wonders. It's amazing the difference of what your home looks like when there's a fresh coat of paint and have the paint throughout the whole house the same color. Um, I've seen in many different houses different bright bold colors throughout the kids rooms, the parents rooms, the downstairs. It's key to be consistent so that when a buyer comes in they're not going to think oh my god what did I get into? Uh, it's going to cost me money to have the whole house painted. I don't want to have to deal with that. Most home buyers are looking for move-in ready homes. They don't want to have to do anything to their home. So if you can paint, do it yourself. Hire buddies to come in and help you paint. I helped a friend of mine paint and it did wonders for his home. It looks like a whole brand new home, completely different. Number three, master the art of decluttering. Decluttering means get rid of everything. No, just kidding. You're moving, right? So might as well show the potential buyers that you have one foot out the door. Get rid of a lot of your knickknacks, uh, kids' toys, extra clothes. I mean, just anything that makes your home look cluttered, get rid of it. I've seen houses where it looks like a hoarder house. It's a horror story for that house. And your house is gonna be sitting on the market if it doesn't feel open, if it doesn't feel presentable. And if it looks like a hoarder house and looks messy, tch, Forget about it. Your home's gonna be sitting on the market for some time. Number four, scale back on furniture. I've seen a lot of homes that have huge furniture pieces, like they have the whole gamut, the sofa, the love seat, chairs, you name it. The room looks so full and so small. It's amazing by eliminating a couple of fixtures, how much more space the room looks. And you know, you're moving, right? maybe get a storage unit and store a lot of this stuff. Pack up items that you don't need, uh, get rid of furniture that you don't need, maybe have a garage sale, you're moving. Let's just get rid of the old stuff so that you can get ready for your new home, right? <laughs> and if you do keep it in the garage, make sure that it is still very neat and organized because potential buyers are gonna go in your garage and they can tell what type of person you are just by looking in your garage. So you wanna make sure all your boxes are lined up and everything's in there nice and organized. 
Plus, when a home inspector comes in, he needs access to a lot of things that are in your garage, like your water heater, your HVAC system, etc. So you want to make sure that it's also organized and not in the way of those items. Number five, depersonalize. What I mean by depersonalize is get rid of all your photos of your family, any little knickknacks, any chachi things, anything that tells a story about you. Your fridge, get rid of all the items that are on your fridge because when buyers come in and they see tons of photos of you, they're gonna be looking at the photos of your family and assessing what type of person you are and they may only remember the home by just the photos of you and your family and not the home itself. So the goal is to showcase your home and not your family. So get rid of all of your kids' school pictures, get rid of your wedding pictures, get rid of all your photos in the house. Just keep some artwork up, just keep it very simple because we want them to remember your house and not you. Number six, perform a sniff test. Yes, I said it, a sniff test. How does your house smell? Ask friends, ask family members. If you have pets, assess the smell of your pets <laughs> because when a potential buyer comes in, the first thing they're gonna sense or smell is your house. And if it smells like pet odors or if it smells like cooking or just BO or whatever, they're gonna be like, oh, let's get out of here. This house stinks. I can't even walk through this house because of the smell is so pungent. Make sure your home is fresh. So if you already cleaned it, then it should be clean and smelling clean, right? Um, but if you have kids and dogs, maybe get some of those scented candles or those Glade air wicks or whatever they're called, but don't set it to the strongest setting because then potential buyers may think that you're trying to cover up the odors. And a good idea is um, if you do have some showings that day, maybe open all the windows, turn on the fans to air out your house. And it's also important that if you're gonna have a showing, do not cook in your house. I don't wanna smell your food. Do not cook in your house prior to showings because I do not, and the buyers do not wanna smell your food, okay? <laughs> so that's a good tip. Number seven, erase signs of pets. And yes, I am a pet lover. I have two cats, two dogs, and I love my pets. But when you have potential buyers, some buyers do not like pets. So we need to make sure that you hide your pet's water bowls, food bowls, kitty litter, whatever it may be that says that you have pets, hide it, okay? Because potential buyers, some, don't like pets. Um, so we wanna make sure that also, like I mentioned in the previous point, that your house does not smell like pets either. And some pets, tend to pee on your carpets, which soon as you walk in, it is very noticeable. No matter how much candles you burn or whatever scent you're trying to cover it up, it is very noticeable. Even if you have your carpet steam cleaned, it does not work, it just makes it worse. So maybe consider tearing out the carpet if it's really bad and then hiring someone to place some um, vinyl flooring that's cost effective and not that expensive. But pet smells are one sure way to get the buyers out of the door. Number eight is set the scene. And you can also showcase certain parts of your home, like your dining room, you can set dishes on it, with nice place settings, and maybe a beautiful bouquet of flowers or some fruit in the middle of as a centerpiece. Um, also, you can Go in your bathrooms to make it look like a luxurious spa by placing new clean towels with some maybe bar soaps that look like a hotel room. You know, you want to set the scene for the potential buyers so they can vision themselves in your home. Maybe light the fireplace if you have one so that when they come in, it just looks very warm and inviting. And number nine is let there be light. If you know that you're going to have potential showings throughout the day, then Go through your entire house and turn on every single light. Open every single drape. Make sure your house looks very bright and inviting. A dark room does not sell a house, okay? Make sure that, um, again, the reason we want all the lights turned on is also to prevent people, potential buyers, from having to turn on the light switches to look at a room. We wanna 
have that done for them already. And having more light makes the rooms seem a lot bigger. Number 10, make a grand entrance. If your lawn needs to be mowed, if there's weeds all over the place, you, your hedges are outgrown, your trees are all over the place, that's the first impression potential buyers have of your home. And that sets the scene for when they come in. If they have see tree debris all over the place and it just looks junky, what does it say about how your house is gonna look like inside? You want your home front and back to be immaculate, not just the inside, but the outside as well. You need to all maintain the front yard and the backyard. It needs to be clean. Um, maybe put a fresh pot of flowers by the front door, a nice new welcome mat, a beautiful wreath at the door. Make your front entrance grand, inviting. Let those buyers know that your home is just as nice inside as it is outside, okay? It's very important that the yards sell your home. And if your yard is dumpy looking, your home may be sitting on the market a little longer than you want. Overall, to get the most bang for your buck, your home staging efforts should be designed to appeal the widest range of buyers. That's why the goal is to keep your home clean and simple, free of declutter, like your kitchen, everything needs to go. Maybe keep your coffee pot, maybe your toaster, but everything else needs to go. You want the potential buyers when they walk in your door to envision themselves living there. And the less cluttered your home is, the most clean it is. It's amazing how much more money you can get for your home and how much more faster you can sell your home. Honestly, it works. Trust me, my advice is solid. If you're thinking about selling your home, I advise you to follow my 10 tips to getting your home show ready. It's very important. Lots of tips and tricks for you to get your home in tip top shape so we can make some money for you, okay? <laughs> I hope you're enjoying my seller series. Leave a comment down below if maybe there are other advice that you have for potential sellers and what they need to do to get their home show ready. And if you're thinking about selling, I've posted a seller form link down in the description below. Or you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. And as always, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, uh, share this with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel because I talk a lot of great things about real estate, Las Vegas, Las Vegas communities, you name it, I like to cover it all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.